Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Yoshi's Island. Today, we continue our incursion into World 3. Jungle Rhythm. Ah, so this is a jungle music. Ah, I was too slow. What the heck is this enemy? Marching Mildy. Some kind of egg? There we go. Took me half my eggs while I defeated that shy guy and there's nothing here to show for it. Okay, so those marching Mildies. What? I, I'm having trouble processing what this enemy even is. I mean, it looks like an egg with feet. Ha! And what's this give me? A key. Stars. Yay. I love these egg flowers. And who are these platforms weird? I like how you can ground pound them so that you don't have to get beneath them. This allows so much flexibility in placing them. Oh, where's this lead? We, the Mario team, poured our hearts and souls into creating this game for your entertainment. It is full of secrets. Enjoy. I have not found all the secrets in this game. Clearly. I, I've gotten 100 points on every level in this game precisely once. That was when I was playing on the Nintendo Switch and had a rewind capability. Okay, so. See, the thing about some of the secrets in this game is that they lead to you skipping things vital to getting 100 points. Woo! Take that, Tap Tap. I can barely see Tap Tap's eyes. Against that background, Tap Tap's eyes are very, very, barely visible. Ha! Ah, oh, thank goodness, egg block. Egg blocks are an interesting design choice, as are those pipes that spout infinite enemies until you have six eggs. Like, anytime they want to, you to proceed in a place where you're forced to, uh, where you're forced to pop open something with an egg, they can do that and guarantee that you'll have access to eggs. Otherwise, it's entirely possible for you to eliminate all the enemies in the area and then use up all your eggs missing and then, uh, is there anything up here? No. And then uh, be unable to proceed, which means that they wouldn't be able to use that kind of thing for uh, as mandatory for advancing in the level. Huh. Maybe I'm meant to go the other way? I am good at this. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there we are. I discovered this entirely by accident one day. I was trying to figure out where the key even went. And here we are. Throwing balloons? 
I feel like this is the most popular mini game in this game. I don't have much much to say about this mini game anymore besides why is it so popular? Whoops. There we are. Oh, he's waiting to force a failure on me. And Yoshi does this automatically, I cannot control that. One extra life. Alright, so, moving on. Oh, wow. I'm amazed I was able to get that coin while missing that enemy. What? Ah, eh, that one hopped into the abyss. Okay. I'm missing five stars somehow. Right. And my opportunity to get those five stars was that tulip. Yay, I win. So close, and yet so far. Alright, what am I playing today? Match cards! Continue flipping. Okay, so, let's see here. I like how, unlike most match cards games, you get to see what's up. Beforehand, and then, uh... Memorize what you can. Now I believe this went over here? Nope. Must win this one. And this one. Does this go with this? Yes! Oh, and the one that I wanted most... Well, second mo... Well, the one that I wanted after the melons... Gets replaced with ten, with ten lives. And the ten lives don't even matter in the long run because as soon as I exit the game, they're all gone. Like, the melons were what I wanted the most, and that's why I memorized those first. Nep e nuts domain. Is there... I, I don't understand the name of that. Then again, Blarg isn't exactly a meaningful name either, just sound... Well, no, Blarg sounds like a sound you might make, like, Blarg! But, Nep e newt? Nep e nut? Like, I don't understand that. What What is that supposed to be? Alright, and then... Oh, hey! The first monkey that doesn't carry anything around and is still a threat. Really? Really, I, mi I missed that coin. There. Okay, there's clearly something in the middle of this. No? Okay. Huh, I'm out of eggs. I'm not sure what to do here. Fortunately, I got plenty of melons recently. Take that.
Really? Nothing in that one? Mud! Oh, hey, what's this? Ah! Hey, monkey. Super useful watermelon. Mm hmm Oh, there was another Dealy Bopper do there. Hey monkey. Sheesh. Take that monkey. Trying to steal the baby. I have no idea how many shots of watermelon seed I have, but because it's an S melon, I get lots of them. Oh, hey, even though that monkey was already dead, it still turned into a uh, star for me. How nice. And changing seg segments, sections, cost me my watermelon, but that's okay. This is a weird creature that, as far as I know, only appears in this one level. You can steal the babies. They don't fly as far as eggs, but they do try and return to you. Sometimes they hit so many things on the way out that they don't return to you. And it's just so weird. Like, there's the game never offers an explanation or anything. Alright, so. Oh, hey, was I supposed to, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Bad. Maybe. Maybe that's bad. Maybe not. Oh, hey, a door. Now, before I... Okay, okay, no. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Now, I'll just go in here. And, oh, hey, look. Three shy guys with shields. I think I'll turn them into eggs. Whoops, those weird egg critters. Disappeared. Now, before I go grabbing this, I want to go show off something that has also always seemed weird to me. It's interesting that this, that taking this directs you so quickly to another secret. Nope, no, no, I was gonna spit at this, but no. Anyway, this shy guy, this tall shy guy, which I think is unique in this game, never gets an explanation or anything, never shows up again. You step on it, and instead of dying like other shy guys, it spits seeds as you flatten it. This game is filled with just so many weird and fascinating things that show up precisely once. And now it is impossible for me to turn back, so here I go. Ooh, this stage is big on transformations. All right. I have trouble identifying which coins are red when I'm underwater. Oh. 
I've been 15 minutes already and I've only... Oh, no, this is the second stage. Oh, no. No, so close. It's interesting that the uh, submarine is far enough under the water that you need to... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Whew. I didn't fall down far enough to... Uh... Anyway, that... It, th yeah, the submarine is so far beneath the water that you need the momentum from diving in order or from jumping into the water in order to be if in order to hit the bubble for it otherwise Yoshi will float above it <laughs> whoops see I, I can't reach also, it's interesting to finally see what the other part of that ducking animation when you're in water looks like. You know, I... In order to get better at submarining, it might be a good idea to not always have a missile in play, only have missiles in play when you... when I actually need them. Ah. No, 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 don't fall off the screen. Okay. I feel like the uh, submarine bubbles here are slightly too scarce to allow for adequate exploration. Alright, and here we go. Now I can no longer explore underwater. And I am forced to move forward. I hope I got all the red coins, and whatever else- Oh hey! Froggy! Woo! I think some of the mechanics that this game introduces at weirdly arbitrary times would be better introduced in safer places, like a- that log that you ride across. Um. What is it? That you ride across lava in, what, Bigger Boo's Fort? Like, if they would introduce something like that over water? I feel like that would go much better. Hey, frog. Okay, so. All right, so what's down here? Shy folk point crabs. All right, and not just one, but two red coins. Now, what confused me is, if they can carry over your inventory between play sessions, why can't they carry over your life count? Especially since 10 lives seems to be such a huge reward that with those card flip games, replacing the final reward with 10 lives, or in the case of a... Uh, like with the matching card, replacing the final reward with 10 lives. With the uh, other card game, what the heck was it? Where you flip cards and hope to get not Kamek. If you flip everything that's not Kamek, and there is only one Kamek, which there's no guarantee of that being the case, which is kind of upsetting. Y you, you get 10 extra lives, like... The fact that that's such a huge reward leaves me wondering why they don't carry it over between sessions. Alright. None of these have anything worth... None of them have anything worth having. Hey, monkey!
Huh. Okay, here we go. I'll just smash all the way to the bottom. Yoshi is some kind of a dragon, as depicted by dragon coins. So I shall ascend like a stone dragon. Oh, hey! All the red coins. All the flowers and all the stars. G grand! Oh. All right. I have done the thing and gotten a hundred points. You know, thinking about it, Green Yoshi probably has it hardest. Like, if it weren't for the fact that Green Yoshi takes the bonus levels that you get for getting 100 points in every level, and also the final level, I'd say that Yellow and Purple Yoshis have it hardest. But like, Green Yoshi takes all the dash ones, the final level, and any bonus level you unlock for getting 100 points in every level in a given world. Alright, well join me next time when I take on this fort featuring a frog on its face. <laughs>